Hi my dear students welcome back to my class hope everyone are fine this video is specially dedicated for your class 10th board examination so in this video i am dealing with activity 1.3 as well as activity 1.4 so in your examination they will be asking you the activity based questions so you must learn the activities which is given in your textbook if we look at activity 1.3 see take a few zinc granules in a conical flask or a test tube add dilute hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid to this so what can you observe when we perform this activity that is what most importantly you want to understand and you want to understand the changes that takes place in the conical flask or if you perform this activity in the test tube students when we drop the zinc granules into the dilute hydrochloric acid you can observe the bubbles immediately start to release from the solution because zinc is reacting with dilute hydrochloric acid students you can check out the lab activity of this particular activity i have performed this activity link of this video is given in the description box below see along with the release of bubbles there is also a gas which is been liberated or released when zinc react with dilute hydrochloric acid the gas which is released here is the hydrogen gas see i have mentioned here the hydrogen gas is released okay sometimes this is also been passed to the soap water to know whether the released gas is hydrogen or not because when the hydrogen gas is passed to the soap water it releases the bubbles and you can also observe when this reaction is taking place the conical flask or the test tube will increase in its temperature because this is an exothermic reaction that means the heat is released see when a zinc granules is added to hydrochloric acid it releases the hydrogen gas along with the bubbles and it also releases the energy that means the heat is released as a result of this students we can consider this reaction as exothermic reaction in the previous videos i have already explained you what is exothermic reaction now let us check out some of the questions which is based on this activity first question that we can expect on the basis of this activity is why is it recommended always to use the dilute acid it is because see whenever we perform the activity with dilute acid any kind of harm will not be seen that means see when we use the concentrated acid it that means the concentration of acid is bit higher okay so it gives a highly exothermic reaction and it may also cause the skin burn that is the reason it is always recommended to use the dilute acid to perform the most of activities let us look at the next question which is based on this activity what happens to zinc granules when dilute hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid is added to it see when we add the dilute hydrochloric acid or the sulfuric acid to zinc as i told you we can see the release of bubbles and hydrogen gas is liberated another question is given in this same question that is is there any change in its temperature of course we add the zinc granules to dilute hydrochloric acid we can see the following reaction which takes place that is zinc combines with hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride this zinc chloride is the salt which is been formed along with the liberation of hydrogen gas so i have also mentioned in the statement here see as the zinc displaces hydrogen from hcl this is a displacement reaction as well and hydrogen gas is usually prepared in the laboratory by following this kind of reaction i hope you understood this concept further if we look at the next activity 1.4 when we look at the activity 1.4 take a small amount of calcium oxide or quick lime in a beaker the formula of calcium oxide is cao okay its another name is quick lime so to this we are adding the water note down students we are adding the cold water not the hot water 
See, when we add the water to calcium oxide, so what is the observation which you find? What exactly happened here? You need to understand. See, as calcium oxide is reacting with the water, it forms calcium hydroxide. First of all, you want to understand calcium oxide react vigorously. That means very fastly with the water. As a result of it, it forms the slaked lime, which is nothing but calcium hydroxide. See, as this reaction is taking place, it releases huge amount of heat. So this one, we can call it as an exothermic reaction. A large amount of heat is released. See, if we observe the chemical equation for this, see calcium oxide is reacting with the water to form calcium hydroxide and with the liberation of heat. That is what he is mentioned here also. See, we say calcium oxide as a quick lime and calcium hydroxide as a slaked lime. You should know the different names which is been given for calcium oxide as well as calcium hydroxide. And you must definitely know that it is an exothermic reaction as huge amount of heat is released. So now let us check some of the possible questions that may be asked in the examination based on the activity 1.4. So based on the activity 1.4, the first question that we may expect here is what happened when calcium oxide react with water? Obviously, I told you the same question can also be asked like this. What happened when a quick lime reacts with water? Okay, it's another name of calcium oxide. You know that it forms the slaked lime which is called as calcium hydroxide along with a huge amount of heat is released. The next question that we may expect in the exam is what is combination reaction? Guys, you can observe calcium oxide is reacting with the water. Nothing but it is an example for combination reaction because calcium oxide when it combines with the water it forms calcium hydroxide which is a single product. It is a single product. So when we look at combination reactions definition, two or more reactants combine to form single product. Okay, so it is a chemical reaction in which two or more reactants combine to form single product. This question also be asked in the examination based on this activity and they may also ask you to write the equation. So the next question which can be expected based on this activity is Write some more examples of combination reaction and also exothermic reaction. See, we have come to know about combination reaction and what is meant by exothermic reaction. That means the liberation of heat takes place. See, burning of coal is an example for exothermic reaction as well as combination because here the carbon is combining with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and here Formation of water is also an example for the same type of reaction because hydrogen is combining with the oxygen to form water. So this is an example for combination reaction. Okay, so these are some of the possible questions that will be asked based on the activity 1.4. Okay, you must definitely know the different names which is given for calcium oxide as well as the slaked lime. And you must know it is an example for exothermic reaction. Most of the time it will be asked in the multiple choice questions. I hope you found this video useful. I will be meeting you in the next video with the activity 1.2.2 which is based on the decomposition reactions.